There's a report recently published in the British medical journal Lancet which says that half the babies born this year could well make it to 100 years old, still celebrating birthdays in 2109. Exciting? No doubt. Challenging? You bet. And so with a personal look at that story, here's Sharon Alfonsi. The Alfonsi men have always taken a life short, play hard approach to life. That grinning devil is my grandfather, born in 1915. His life expectancy was just 52 years. My father, born in 1943, was expected to make it 62 years. He's still sailing. But my son, who is on the way, will likely have a whole lot longer to play. Yep, according to today's study, he's likely to see his 100th birthday. <laughs> Children born today are expected to live about 15 years longer than their parents, 40 years longer than their grandparents. It might seem hard to believe. After all, there is a growing obesity epidemic, more cases of cancer, and reports that we're exercising less. And still, researchers say, the next generation is likely to not only live longer, but live better. Think about cardiology procedures. We are doing operations in people um, from ages 80 to 90 that we would have never dreamed of doing in that age group. But the good news comes with some serious challenges. Experts say many people won't have saved enough to live that long. Healthcare services will be stretched thin and Social Security, Medicare and Medicaid could go bust. The top one-third of the United States is going to be fine because they can pay for themselves and survive. The bottom one-third is going to need help from all of us. So there are going to be a lot of people who are basically going to have to find some way to work until the end of life. Imagine working into your 80s and living well beyond that. It's enough to leave even the young at heart breathless. Sharon Alfonsi, ABC News, New York.